Okay, on my way to a run session. Not gonna lie, felt pretty terrible uh, for the past two weeks. Kind of been just trudging through it, getting through it. It's, um, yeah, just feeling pretty shit, to be honest. Not ideal, um, especially leading into uh, the Challenge Championships. Would have preferred to have just rolled through things a little bit easier, but not to be. So just been rolling with the punches for the past two weeks and yeah, getting through it. I think uh, obviously the balance between recovery and doing the work that's required to stay fit and healthy and this, that and the other. Probably toe in the line of that, um, but feel in good shape, it's just a struggle. Also, who knew that it was called Shamarin, not Samarin, Challenge Championships. But yeah, that's the next one. But to get this run session done, felt terrible in my uh, swim yesterday. Could barely uh, even get through the first set. Probably didn't even do it in the right kind of zone, but just got the meters done, got through it. And yeah, the bike session as well was a little bit of a struggle, but again, got through it, got the majority of the stuff done. Power numbers were okay. So yeah, all in all, good place. Just again, feeling a little bit distinctly average to poor. Lou's giving me something like 10 minutes threshold and then two by five minutes just above threshold, three times through roughly. So about 50 minutes worth of work in total. So yeah, try and keep you posted. overcooked when you have to cut a session a little bit short. Oh well. So just got off the phone with Ben, one of my clients, uh, went over his race from the weekend which was great to hear about because it was from Eton, Dorney. I've been there a few times, it was actually the uh, first race that I ever do as, did as a triathlete so that was a bit of a throwback, uh, a bit of a bit of a balls up from me. Um, in that race. But yeah, no, it was, uh, it was just good to catch up and see and make a plan for Ben going forward because I think there's going to be a lot of good, uh, exciting races going forward for him, but also the other athletes as well. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing straight after the run session. The run session was tough. Um, I like just dialed it back a little bit, took 10 minutes off of uh, the total session time just because one, I was a bit tired, as I said earlier, and also I don't want to overcook it going into next week. I don't want to 
dig a hole that I can't get out of essentially. So that's kind of where I'm at and what I did. Um, yeah, 10 minutes and then two by five minutes, 10 minutes, two by five minutes, 40 minutes in total. And that was that. So I did it about 18 kilometers an hour on the 10 minutes and 19 on the fives. Yeah, um, tough, but got through it. And yeah, just uh, got one more session today. Gonna meet up with Andy, my old coach, just for a catch up and then yeah, basically just chill out for the rest of the day and have a nice easy weekend. Way up to Cardiff Met to see Andy and then swim. 5K swim on the cards. Let's see if I can actually get through it this week because last week I didn't. But yeah, that's the plan. Let's get at it. Okay, that's it. Day done. I think when I look back over the past few weeks since basically Valencia to try and prep for this next race in Samarin, it's been a bit of a grind and like I said earlier in the video, I don't know whether or not it's going to come off essentially because I don't know whether or not I'm recovering properly and this is the first time that I'm within the season and trying to navigate in between races. Obviously I did it last season but it's a little bit different when you come back into the season for the first time. So yeah, I think it's gone really well. I've done a lot of training and you can't go too wrong with being able to get through the work and actually like getting fit essentially or staying fit. So that's kind of the the kind of way that I'm looking at it and we'll only know when I start to race, but I've got two back-to-back -back races now in Shamarin and then in Kreisgau. So I need to be on it for both of them. And again, to navigate in between two 70.3s back-to-back -back is a bit of a new one. I've only done it once, I think it is. and. The second one was better for me, but I'm hoping to have a good one in the championship race rather than the 70.3 race afterwards, but again, would like to perform in both. Yeah, the the couple of weeks outside of training have been good, like there's been some life stuff that's exciting, which I might update you on in the coming weeks. Um, but yeah, I think coaching's going really well. We've had a lot of people racing a lot over the past couple of weeks, which is amazing. Like so sick to see so many people doing well as well like performing well getting personal bests but also podiuming getting world championship slots all sorts of stuff uh, go check out our website i just did a blog post on it um i'll link it down below but yeah really exciting stuff on that uh, side of things so really proud of the whole team like coaches and athletes in that respect and then yeah i think um on a day-to-day -day life i feel a little bit tired just because i went to london for a, a birthday uh, last weekend so just recovering from that as well I just need to kind of dial it down again I feel feel like I'm a little bit at the limit of what I want to be doing um, and just yeah rein it in and just take stock this weekend really relax and not do a lot at all so that's the plan and then next week I fly out and then yeah bit of travel here and there for between the races so yeah looking forward to it uh, stay tuned, I'll update you next week as to what's going on and give you a little bit more of an insight. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you did get any value or insights that you want to carry on watching and I'll see you next time.